Hey guys, I'm coming to you really quick with another lace front wig review. This is a synthetic lace front wig by Sensational, and she's called Lauren. This is what she looks like in the package. On the package, rather. Lauren. Okay. Very curly, very lightweight. Uh, came in a really nice box. Package it real nice and everything. You got instructions on the back, tell you how to put it on and how to, you know, care for it and everything. It says, uh, easy self application, no tape or glue required, and can be styled as a ponytail. Okay, the no glue, no tape part works for me. They can get thumbs up for that because, uh, I don't, I never ever tape or glue a wig to my head, I just don't want to damage my edges. And I'm not too much worried about, you know, it coming off or anything like that. It's normally secure and, you know, uh, anyhow. So, yeah, she's really curly and you can, I guess, feather this stuff and or whatever. But um, it has three combs, two on the side, one in the back, small combs, and an adjustable strap. I'm I'm really close to the to the camera like this right now, guys, because I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. I've been having some problems with the microphone, but uh, hopefully you can hear me and you can see this wig. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see it better. There you go. That's what she looks like. That's the length. There's the back. I, that to me, she's kind of thin. The back. When I looked in the mirror and I saw the back, I wasn't too, you know. I wasn't really too thrilled about that, but let me show you the back. I hope you guys can see it. Here's the side. I hope you guys were able to see that. Let me see, turn around again. Let me make sure. That's the back. I'm sitting on my couch, guys. Sorry. <laughs> so I hope you were able to see that. But, uh, yeah, uh, I want to thank my subscribers because, I mean, I don't have very many, but I thank you guys for tuning in and checking me and uh, leaving your feedback and your comments. I really appreciate it because it helps me to make corrections and uh, try to remember all the things that you guys uh, want to know about the wigs that I'm reviewing. Uh, I got it in an F1B30. Uh, like I said, it's synthetic. It says it's 100% premium fiber, but it don't say anything about being able to put heat you can't use heat on it. Doesn't say anything at all about. It. But like I said, this 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 wig has been around for a while because I've seen quite a few people do reviews on it. So maybe when they made this, they probably wasn't uh, making future of fiber at the time. Who knows? Anyway, doesn't say anything about using uh, uh, applying heat. And uh, but it's nice. It's it's nice. You can wear it in summer because it's not too heavy. But, you know, I just don't like stuff in my face. I was sweating earlier with just having it on for a little while. I just put it on for the purpose of this video to show you guys what it looks like. Like I said, you know, I may save this for winter time, but it's a nice wig. It's a nice wig. It's a good length. You know, like I said, it's kind of thin in the back, but uh, you could have it up in a nice little... You know, you could probably have it up in a messy bun or something, you know, if you wanted to. I don't wear it back because I don't, since I don't tape it or glue it to my head, I'm not wearing it up. I'm not going out like that, guys. <laughs> I don't know if somebody told you wrong if you thought, you know, I was going out like that. I'm not. Uh, this is cute. This is this style to me. I think it should be worn down anyway. But to each stay on. Different strokes for different folks. This is my thing. Um. Not very much room for parting either, but uh, when you separate it, I mean the curls, you can kind of flip them in your face and, you know, have some out to the front and some out to the back. I guess when they made this wig, they must have thought because it's so curly that that would make it look fuller. Yeah, it gives it the appearance that it's fuller, but it's actually kind of thin. Like I said, the back is very thin to me. So to me, actually, it's pretty good if you want to... Uh, wear it in a messy bun or I would just keep it down you know but yeah that's all I really got on this wig I can't think of anything else or I can't think of anything that I forgot but I'm sure you guys will will leave a comment in the bottom 
and let me know it, wherever, it, whatever I might have forgot, but no problem. No problem at all. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will answer them. And no problem. And I do appreciate constructive criticism. Okay. So, you know, feel free to uh, ask any questions, any questions you have. I'll be glad to answer them if I can. Uh, probably cost about, I think, no, not probably. It was about, well, yeah, about, about $40. I paid about $40 for this wig and I got it at Hair Wig Harlem online. I love getting stuff online. But you know what? I could be wrong. It could have been $30. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know exactly how much I paid for it. But I got all the other info in here, guys. So I paid either $30 or $40 for this wig. But like I said, I, I, I have a lot of wigs that I haven't even worn yet. I just watch so many reviews. And, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm Tay, and I'm a product junkie. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, I've been playing the makeup again, guys. I don't think you can see it real good, what I've been doing. But I am going to post some pictures at the end so you guys can see. One of my cousins was talking about makeup to me today, and it just inspired me to try to do a different look. So, yeah, I'll, I'll post the uh, information in the bottom of what I use to do this look. And hopefully you'll be able to see them better on the pictures because I know that my camera is not really doing it any justice. But again, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you later. Until next time. Bye, guys.